All right, check it out. It's uh, it's working. So uh, got the battery in here. I still got to uh, drill a hole down through the bottom, and I'm going to put like two zip ties over this. I was hoping to use the the bracket to screw it down, but eh, I don't want to use all that hardware on it. Uh, yeah. So got three of these in parallel. 7.2 volts, nominal, and uh, pretty basic. Check this out. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, hilarious. It's so funny. I uh, put a little thing here, kind of made a hinge. You can't open it very far. But, you know, you can get a hand in there. I put that old dealer plate down in there to protect. Just kind of taped it in place and bent it so that they got like a little, let's see, a little hood. You could put your juice boxes in here or whatever. And uh, I'd get my hand in there. I'm sure a kid could. You know, I just cut off some of those tabs so that it doesn't lock anymore. I could just open. The windshield kind of is what's preventing it from going all the way up. And, uh, well, yeah, that's it. I'm going forward. Reverse. Well, that hasn't always been working. Some issue with the reverse. Yeah, it was working yesterday. At least uh, forward works pretty good. Yep, that's it. And then I got a charger coming that'll uh, go to this here. Just a AC adapter. I got an actual nickel metal hydride one that I ordered. And it's like 20 bucks. But I think just uh, if I can find like an 8 volt, 8.4 volt, or even a 9 volt AC adapter uh, that does like, you know, 125 milliamps or something like that, as long as it's less than 250, that would be fine. Just trickle charges these, and it can never really overcharge them if it's going that slow. So, uh, yep, that's it. All right, later.